Three, two, one. Starting mission. DroneLink is a modern approach to flight automation focused on reusability, collaboration, scalability, and a network of drone professionals that are looking to use collaboration to enhance their craft. At its core, collaboration is all about human beings working together and sharing ideas. You get exposed to an alternate way of how somebody thinks about something. The core feature in DroneLink is components. The component is the definition of how is the drone producing the thing that is actually valuable. What I saw happening over and over again was people spending all their time and energy replanning missions just because they're changing location or they're changing drones or they're changing pilots and there was no ability to reuse any of that work. Going out and being able to press one button and seeing it take off fully autonomously and do exactly what you wanted it to do every single time. The mindset up until this point has been, how do we fly the drone from point A to point B? And the shift needs to be, how do we get the data from the drone that we need to solve the problem that we're trying to solve? When I have to think about flying the drone and rotating the camera, it's distracting. And it separates me as an artist from truly being able to express myself. I only have one chance to get that perfect shot. I put the drone down, I load up the mission, I push play, and I let the drone do its thing. Drone Leap has a custom flight controller which offers multi-purpose mission types. They can do a 360, a waypoint mission, and then do an orbit, all in the exact same mission. All these ideas can be put into components, put into a library, and you can pull them and drop them directly into your mission. We can just pull this particular component and put it into the flight plan. We don't have to replan every time. To have one-stop shop with an app to be able to pick up and take pictures of the building envelope, to map the job site. It's easily repeatable on a different site. Human error is always going to be difficult. If you have a drone operator trying to flip between apps and there's an incident, that's a problem for me as a drone service provider. DroneLink gives us the ability to repeat the same operation week to week so we can give the client consistent data. We just go out, push the button, and go. I can use the same process with the orbits, with the pictures, with the maps, with the envelope scans for any project around the country. I think the real future here is actually running the flight control in the cloud. The drone is out there flying and producing its telemetry, but we're actually sending that telemetry in real time to a data center, it could be halfway across the world, processing it and coming up with the commands that need to be sent back to the drone to perform the flight control and doing it with a latency that still allows you to produce the types of shots that drone link can currently do when you're standing within a couple hundred feet. Your mind has to be open enough to think about it in a different way, to challenge the status quo. And once you get past that, it's worth it. Our goal is to listen to our users and listen to the people that are pushing us to develop the best solution that's out there, not just for today, but going forward. There's that spark inside of us, that divine spark. It's our creativity. It's our ability to imagine things that don't exist yet and make them reality. Drone link's no different. You want to do that with your drone. You want to do that with everything in your